आऊज़बिल्लिमिनशीतरजीम बसमीम रबली सदरी व यसरली अमरी वाहलतमिलसानी यफ़ा कवली आमीन असलकुम डियर स्टूडेंट्स हाव यू ऑल आई होप दैट यू ऑल आर फाइन इन डूइंग वेल दिस इज़ मी योर इस्लामिक स्टडीज़ टीचर एंड एज यू नो दैट वी आर लर्निंग आर चैप्टर नंबर ट्वेंटी लेसन नंबर ट्वेंटी so inshallah we are going to continue our lesson so let's start unit number 20 the prophet muhammad peace and blessings of allah be upon him part 3 students as you know that we have learned part 1 and part 2 and we have learned different phases of our beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam's life and uh, now we are learning part 3 so the main points which we will discuss first we will talk about previous knowledge then we will continue the reading of this lesson from your textbook page number 71 and then 72 and inshallah there will be explanation for you then your homework previous knowledge so students in this lesson we have learned that uh, allah subhanahu wa taala had given permission for al hijra to our prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam and the messenger of allah the prophet muhammad peace and blessings of allah be upon him came down to abu bakr allah be pleased with him and told him that allah had given him permission to emigrate and then we have learned about his reaction means abu bakar radhiyallahu ta'ala on his reaction he and she anxiously asked together and when the prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam replied yes together then abu bakar may allah be pleased with him started weeping and his eyes began to flow with tears because he had long been waiting for this moment then we have learned about the preparation for the immigration that uh, he had chosen two camels and had given them to abdullah ibn uriqat allah be pleased with him to grace till, till the time arrived means the time of immigration then we have learned about uh, uh, that what was the condition in the cave of thor and we have learned that only four people knew the hiding place of prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam and uh, abu bakar may allah be pleased with him and uh, they were abdullah the son of abu bakar siddiq and uh, and aisha abdullah's two sisters means abu bakar's two daughters aisha and asma and their servant amir bin fohira and uh, uh, then <coughs> we also learned that amir bin fohira pastured abu bakar's sheep and uh, on purpose passed by the cave in the evening to give them milk to drink and uh, then asma's duty was to provide them food in at night and uh, then we also learn a very beautiful lecture of uh, abu bakar radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu that uh, when the messenger of allah peace and blessings of allah be upon him and abu bakar may allah be pleased with him arrived at the cave cave of thor abu bakar allah be pleased with him entered the cave before the prophet peace and blessings of allah be upon him and what was his intention he cleaned it means he cleaned that cave and made sure that it contained nothing to hurt muhammad peace and blessings of allah be upon him then we learned the miracles of the cave that allah inspired a spider to spin a web across the entrance to the cave to stop anyone seeing through inside then a pair of white pigeons appeared by allah's leave and settled there to lay eggs now we are going to continue our lesson okay students this is your page number 71 and our next point from this lesson is grieve not allah is with us the killers arrived close to the cave the young men of quraish who were chosen to kill the prophet peace and blessings of allah be upon him continued their search till they arrived close to the cave and one of them forward and looked at the mouth of the cave 
As he turned to go, his companions asked him, Why didn't you enter the cave? And he replied, that the cave's entrance is covered with cobweb and no one could have gone inside without upsetting them. So this was the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had saved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And this was uh, the moment when Abu Bakr Siddiq exclaimed, if any one of them will look at his feet, then he would discover us. The Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, answered, What could in your opinion happen to two men who have Allah as the third with them? And the Quran has also spoken of this incident. The Quran said in the Quran there is a verse when these two men these two men means Prophet وسلم, and Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq when these two men were in the cave when he said to his companion he means the Prophet peace and blessings of Allah be upon him and his companion was Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq when he said to his companion grieve not Allah is with us. La tahzan in Allah man. Move on students to the next point. Okay students, so the next point of this lesson is the story of Suraka. The Quraysh had offered a reward of 100 camels to anyone who would bring the Prophet peace and blessings of Allah be upon him back. And the Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings of Allah be upon him and Abu Bakr may Allah be pleased with him spent three days three nights in the cave and then they left and there was a person among the Quraysh whose name was Suraka Suraka bin Malik hoped to find the Prophet peace and blessings of Allah be upon him and he wanted to win hundred camels reward so he rode into pursuit of him but as his horse was running at a gallop means his horse was running very fast his horse stumbled and threw him down suraka once more mounted but it stumbled again and threw him down but suraka continued his chase till he saw the three men ahead as he came close to them, his horse stumbled with him, and this time its four legs sank into the ground. Means the four legs of horse sank into the ground. As the horse tried to put its leg out, smoke rose like a sandstorm. And Suraka now realized that the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him was protected against him and he began to call loudly saying who he was and ask them to wait and that no harm would come to them from him the prophet peace and blessings of allah be upon him told abu Bakr to ask him what he wanted then suraka replied write out a note which will be signed between you and me. The Prophet peace and blessings of Allah be upon him commanded Amir bin Fuhaira who wrote it and handed out to Suraka. Okay students this is the last point from uh, this lesson the hardships of the journey and uh, students this journey was a sum of 400 kilometers and uh, it was summer season in the heart of summer months the journey of some 400 kilometers from Makkah to Medina and took about it took about nine days Muhammad peace and blessings of Allah be upon him traveled towards Medina across sandy deserts hills and mountains and after a time, the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, 
and Hazrat Abu Bakr may Allah be pleased with him grew thirsty and then they passed out they passed an old woman called Umm Mabat and uh, uh, they asked uh, with uh, some goats means there were some goats with that old woman and uh, prophet sallallahu alaihi wa sallam asked her to give them milk but she said that uh, the goats were too thin to have any but the messenger of allah peace and blessings of allah be upon him stroked one of the goats and it produced enough milk to quench their thirst the prophet peace and blessings of allah be upon him first offered the milk to umm mabud and uh, then to others means as the ubaqa siddiq may allah be pleased with him and uh, their servant amir bin fuhaira and prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam him dra- himself drank last of all and uh, they continued their journey until they arrived at kuba and it took 9 days to reach at Kuba. It was an oasis of Medina, and uh, the day was Monday, and it was the eighth day of Rabiul Awwal. So, students, this was our lesson, Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, part three. Alhamdulillah, we have finished this lesson. Now we are moving towards our homework. Here is students your homework that you are directed to read unit number twenty. as you know that it will improve your reading skill and inshallah your understanding level will be improved also then do exercise b question number 1 to 8 and write these questions and their answers on your neat notebook and then learn these question answers then students here is another activity for you that when you will read this unit you are directed to make 10 fill in the blanks from this less thank you very much dear students take very good care of yourself allah hafiz